Okay, so I'm in Unity, and I got my terrain selected. Uh, this is the grass that I've made earlier, and just this is the stuff that it's um, what the original Max output delivered with the vertex painting on the actual vertices. And there's a little bit of motion with the current texture, which is the one I used in 3ds Max. It's looking very cartoony and very vibrant where the terrain is green, and a little bit more effective where the terrain is more rocky. So um, the color on the terrain is definitely affecting how the grass is being rendered and it looks kind of like an actual additive kind of addition to the to the color of the actual object first let's go ahead and bring in our uh, other things so let's go to my meshes folder and right click and I'm going to import my two new assets I've already imported the texture um, but I can do I can show you how I did it so we got grass three and four and there's three and there's four so there's one two three and four and they're all the same thing except for grass three has the tall piece I hope or four does I hope I can't see it in here so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna stick some of these things on here using uh, the terrain editor so let's click on the terrain go to the it uh, you go into this object so the paint details and there's grass two so I'm just gonna go ahead and just go into edit details and don't remove it so we don't have anything in here as default. All my grass is gone. I've already done some painting in my textures, uh, on my terrain. So let's go ahead into Edit Details and add grass. We can add grass texture, which will apply it to a sprite. Or we can add detail mesh, which will be rocks, trash, anything that we want to actually add to it. Let's go ahead and click on this to find our object. I'm going to go into Assets. This is our asset folder, and there's grass. Let's start with grass three. I can see the grass four is different, so I think that the taller one will work. So let's start with three. Go in there. I don't think I've actually applied the texture to it, so I'm gonna have to go back a step. So I think I have to, was it prefabs? I have to do a prefab, yes. So let me stack back a second. Let's go ahead and stick our, let's go move. I'm gonna stick our grass three and stick our grass four on there so we can go take a look at them. <laughs> Sweet. So I'll have a tall grass and a short grass. So I'll stick them right next to each other. What we need to do is put materials on there and then make them prefabs. I've already made a material, like I said. So I go to materials. And here's the grass material that I made. And all I have in here is that base map, which I rendered in 3ds Max. But it's a it's a PNG with transparency default on it. Makes a nice little image. It's fantastic. So I just drag it on there. And it's set to two sided. All right, so what I'm going to do now is grab that piece of geometry. It's three and four. I'm going to grab three and I'm going to stick in the prefabs. Original prefab. I'm going to do four. And this will be also an original prefab. Now, let's go ahead and delete those things out of the scene real quick. Click on the. Uh, on the terrain object go back into here and let's go ahead and add that geometry with the texture applied to it so edit details add detail mesh new game object assets now we have grass one two three four so there's two grass two grass three with a texture there's grass two without the tech without the texture with the texture so we want grass three with the texture sweet double click and we'll change you can change the intensity of these I haven't gone too deep into it but I definitely don't want it to look like a vibrant cartoon so I'm definitely going to go down a notch I have no idea how that's going to affect the actual color but there's our paint brush just like our paint terrain and anything else and next time now when I paint oh let's go oh I forgot to actually hit OK excuse me hit this assets Clutching along. We're doing grass three with the texture. Hit add. Oh, that works so much better. Now we paint. Good. Sweet. Now, <clears throat> it's just like anything else that you paint on this terrain. You get to opacity and target strength. All right. So let's go ahead and add a new one just to review. Detail mesh. Click on that bad boy, go to the assets folder, find the object you're going to use. Again, this could be rocks, this can be trash, it can be anything that you're going for. 
That one looks like it has the actual texture. Oh, render mode. Vertex lit. I'll look that up. Oh, that vertex lit. I think it's at my folder. That might be my material. Hit add. And so now I've got two. So I click on the one I want to paint now, and I can just drop some tall pieces in there. Now let's go run through there and see what it looks like. Now I didn't paint grass four, so it should be swaying pretty crazy. I don't think I have it tall enough to see it though. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit escape so I can get my mouse controller and I'm going to click on the terrain or I'm going to select the terrain over here. Select the terrain and I'm going to go into the gear and this is where the wind setting is. Right there. That's it. So we can see it. There we go. Speed. And if we use the size, that's a big chunk. If I hit it hard, it's going to make some big mess, but it looks like it's not doing a whole lot. This is what default showed me. And that's pretty intense. Now, the reason why it's rooted like that is because it's stuck with the actual, based on the. Um, Vertex painting that we painted. Let's see if we can do something crazy. Let me hit stop. I didn't see my second grass get in there. Let's paint over here so we know. Okay, it looks like it's going flat. That's weird. I've not experienced that before. I may need to reset the transformers or something up again. Let's go in here and see what happens. Mm, that's crazy. I've not seen that before. I don't know why it's sitting so flat. But, let's see. Let's see. Let's train sentence. Let's do something else. Let's do a new one. Let's do a, uh, add detail mesh. I want you to do something, one of the smaller ones, just to test this out. Hmm. You know, floating chairs. Floating chairs can be fun. Floating arches. Like debris. Let's do Rock 01. It's a pretty dense piece of mesh. Uh, I'm going to just make it vertex lit and hit add. It didn't add. It goes boop. Add to it. Ooh. All right. Well, I can chunk up our rocks pretty good. Let's change the opacity down and see if we can get less. Hmm. I wonder if it will paint. We'll see if it moves. Because I haven't painted the vertices. These should be crazy. And they don't move at all. That might be. Oh, you know what? Let's go back into terrain. I'm going to hit W to move. Terrain. Go into there. I'm going to change uh, the rocks from vertex lid, which is what you do to keep it from moving at all. I make it grass. Hit apply. I think that should be fun. And this is how we'll make big bushes. Is it moving? Yeah, that's trippy. I love it. I'm gonna lose my lunch. Vomit child. So cool. All right, so that's how we can apply objects. So if you don't want them to move, what you can do is you go into the actual editor here. I'm gonna change these healthy colors. I'm just gonna change it all to black. So everything's just all right, white. I may make it look like it's glowing or dark, but I think I changed that. And then we make them vertex lit. That means that there'll be no animation applied to them. And they'll just look like rocks. Sweet. Look at my grass. All boogie woogie. Crazy. I gotta figure that one out. <clears throat> but that's why we vertex paint things. So if I want to go back, I'm probably gonna have a higher level grayscale. And actually, let's go ahead and Click on the terrain, go back into our gear, and let's change our wind setting just to bending size down a lot. So it's not like Witcher. Which you know, like it's always a hurricane. I'm turning the bending down so it's not so intense. That's pretty good. Grass tint. Oh, cool. So I don't want to make it colorful. I might want to make it more of a grayscale. And I'll have to get a better grass texture. But that is how we do grass on our object. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Cool. 
glad I did that in play mode and not regular mode. But that's how I'll do grass. Cool.